that I could barely sleep last night. I'm going to be getting another hair transplant and I'm going to be telling you guys which clinic that is and why I chose that. All right. All right guys, so I guess the moment of truth is here. Um, I was so excited, I could barely sleep last night, uh, you know, just thinking about how the day is going to transpire. Um, and this is usually, for those of you guys who haven't had a hair transplant, if it's your first time, it's usually the time when you start to think, okay, did I do enough research? Did I put, put in the time? Am I making the right decision? And so hopefully you're in a position where you're choosing a doctor uh, based off of real patient reviews. Um, how I came to my decision was going on the Hair Restoration Network and looking at all the reviews. And so I know that I'm making the right decision, so I feel confident uh, going into the procedure today. But um, just to kind of give you guys a little outline of how the morning went, I woke up, brushed my teeth, took a shower, um, didn't put any product in my hair, went downstairs, had a good breakfast. I think it's very important that you guys uh, have a good breakfast before having a hair transplant because lunch isn't usually until later in the afternoon and you want to have enough food so you're satiated throughout the day. Um, and yeah, I'm just very excited. I can't wait to see how the day is going to go and I'm sure um, we'll get more footage and, and more to come. So this part uh, of Melvin, he used to kind of, you know, kind of uh, conceal with the concealers and dharmas and uh, you know, some uh, hair in tropic yes. I can see a lot of things are happening. Still has a lot of hair miniaturizing. This is the number one zone, number two zone, and number three zone. Mm. Number four. This is number five. Like this, this is primary yes. importance. Mm -hmm. Second, like this is maybe one and this is 1.5, not two. This yeah. is also important. Then uh, these are. Um, you know, really it came down to all of the research I did on the Hair Restoration Network forum and uh, the community has been fantastic. All of the patients like Armin, like Carl, they helped me make my decision in choosing eugenics and as Dr. Sethi will tell you, my case is very difficult. Um, not too many surgeons would take me on as a patient because I've had three surgeries. My Hair is pretty depleted. Um, you know, he even thought that uh, he was able to get some more hairs than, <laughs> than what he thought. And you know, when you shave down, I've hair, I've had hair taken pretty much everywhere on my head. Um, so it really takes a specialist to know exactly where he's going to get hairs and where to get the maximum um, uh, density for the crown and obviously the temples. And so. This man here is an artist with the, with the temples uh, and the temples is one thing that you cannot afford to make a mistake. I put my life in your hands now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, thank you so much Melvin and yeah, this is a great response. what I enjoy uh, the thrill of doing, uh, you know, kind of uh, the temples and of course the crown is there. So we'll do everything in total and I'm sure that uh, once he is like after nine months when the hair will be <laughs> delivered, and uh, we'll have another bite after that. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you in the OR.